that task is draw data flow diagram. So what is data flow diagram? The data flow diagram captures the flow of data in a system and it describes data origination, transformations and consumption in a system. There are four uh, components in a data flow diagram. The first component is process. The second is data store. The third is source and sync. And the fourth is data flow. These are the standard notation that will be used when we draw the diagram in this view. There are four levels in data flow diagrams, context level DFT, level zero DFT, level one DFT, and level N DFT. We will cover context DFT and level zero DFT. This is the example of context diagram of burger food ordering system. In context diagram, there is only one process symbol. And here the process is food ordering system. The external entities in this context diagram are customer, kitchen, restaurant manager. And the data flow between the customer and food ordering system is customer give order to food ordering system and get the receipt from system. The kitchen get the food order details from the food ordering system. The restaurant manager get management reports from the system. The context diagram basically shows the system boundaries, external entities that interact with the system, and major information flows between entities and the system. In level zero DFT, the context level DFT, the process in, in context level DFT is divided into four main processes. The first process is receive and transform customer food order. The second is update goods sold file. The third is update inventory file. The fourth is produce management report. And the external entities are same as in con context level DFT. The first external entity is customer. The second is kitchen. The third is restaurant manager. The data stores are, the first data store is inventory file data, is and the second is the good sold file database. Level zero DFT shows the system major processes, data flows and data stores at a high level of abstraction. And these processes are also labeled as 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0. The first process is receive and transfer customer order. And the external entities are customer and kitchen. The data flow between the customer and process are the customer give food order details to the process and in return get received from the system. The data flow between the kitchen and the first process is the chef receives, the chef or kitchen receives order detail from the system. The second process is update goods sold file. The second process get good sold data from first process and after updating the good sold file, this formatted data is stored in the database. The third process is update inventory file. This process gets inventory data from first process, update the inventory file and then the formatted inventory data is stored in inventory file. The fourth process is produce management report. This process gets data from uh, these two data stores and then prepare a management report. And this management report goes to restaurant manager. So here you have level zero DFT. Basically, what are we doing? We are context level in the context process of food ordering system. We divide it into four main sub-processes. And we are showing the interaction with external entities. And here we are showing the data store, where the data resides. So you have to show it in the level zero data flow diagram. In level zero data flow diagram, you have to show it in the level zero data flow अब हम इसको देखते हैं कि इस डायग्राम को हम किस तरह से ड्रॉ कर सकते हैं विजुअल फोर पर यूज़ कैटेगरी स्टेप फ्रॉम स्टार्ट स्क्रीन दें सॉफ्टवेयर एंड डेटाबेसेस दें डेटा फ्लो मॉडल डायग्राम दें प्रेस द क्रिएट बटन फॉर मोर शेप्स गो टू मोर शेप्स then choose software and databases, software, and choose the data flow diagram shapes. Up level zero DFT main, this view may data process to show in the circle we have, or you have a rectangle, say we have process to show for it. This is the slides can the notation given. Okay, again, I'm going to use the 
तो यहाँ पर वो शेप यूज हो रही है फिजियो के अंदर एंटिटी ठीक है इसको हम प्रोसेस के लिए भी यूज कर सकते हैं तो हम इसको लेते हैं ड्राइव करते हैं और ड्रॉप करते हैं वर्क स्पेस पर एंटर करते हैं द नेम ऑफ प्रोसेस हमने नंबर भी करना है उसको हम फर्स्ट नंबर दे देते हैं बिकॉज इट्स फर्स्ट प्रोसेस आपके पास जो इंटरनल एक्सटर्नल एंटिटीज हैं आपके पास जो फर्स्ट एंटिटी है वो कस्टमर है जो सेकेंड एंटिटी है वो आपके पास किचन है इसको आप शेफ भी कह सकते हैं हम जो डेटा फ्लो है बिटवीन द कस्टमर एंड द प्रोसेस इज द कस्टमर गिव फूड ऑर्डर टू सिस्टम आप डेटा फ्लो को भी लेबल कर सकते हैं इसी तरह द इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन किचन एंड फर्स्ट प्रोसेस इज और द डेटा फ्लो बिटवीन द किचन एंड प्रोसेस इज किचन गेट फूड ऑर्डर डिटेल ऑर्डर डिटेल फ्रॉम द सिस्टम The second process in this diagram is update goods old file. इसको हम लेबल करते हैं second process. The data flow between the between first and second process is The second process gets goods sold data from first process. The direction जो है वो second process की तरफ होगी. ठीक है और ये आप डेटा फ्लो बिटवीन द सेकंड प्रोसेस इज द सेकंड प्रोसेस गेट्स गुड्स गुड्सोल्ड डेटा फ्रॉम फर्स्ट प्रोसेस द थर्ड प्रोसेस इज अपडेट इन्वेंट्री In the data flow between the third process, the third process gets data from first process. The third process gets inventory data from first process. After updating the good sold file, this data is stored in a database. So, database के लिए आप जो notation use करेंगे, ये data store की notation है जिसको आप use करेंगे। तो हम label करेंगे D1 से and good sold file और जो interaction है between the second process And the data flow is is the data updated or formatted data data good sold data data is stored in a this in this data store. तरह आफ्टर अपडेटिंग द इन्वेंट्री द अपडेटेड डेटा इज स्टोर इन डेटा स्टोर फाइल 
इसको भी हम लेबल करते हैं और यहां पर हम डेटा फोर को भी लेबल करते हैं इन्वेंट्री अपडेटेड और फॉर्मेटेड इन्वेंट्री डेटा से देखिए हमने यहाँ पर तीन प्रोसेसेस को शो किया है और उनका इंटरेक्शन शो किया है विद एक्सटर्नल एंटिटीज एंड डेटा स्टोर्स द फोर्थ प्रोसेस इज प्रोड्यूस मैनेजमेंट रिपोर्ट दिस इज अ फोर्थ प्रोसेस And to produce the management report, this process gets data from data stores. So the data flow between the D one and process four is the process four gets goods sold amount from um, data store one and inventory data from inventory one and after producing the management report this data goes to ex the management report goes to external entity restaurant manager so the data flow between the four process and restaurant manager is the restaurant manager receives management report report from the fourth process so is tarah se aap level 0 dft kisi bhi process ki agar aapko koi case study di jati hai ya aapko aapke project ki assign kiye hue projects unki kaha jata hai ki level 0 dft banaye to aap is tarah se level 0 dft jo hai wo bana sakte hain notations ko use karte hue bana sakte hain अगर आपको कोई और नोटेशन चाहिए हैं या शेप्स चाहिए हैं तो आप उनको सर्च कर सकते हैं ठीक है मोर शेप्स के अंदर जाके भी आप देख सकते हैं डिफरेंट ऑप्शन गिवन है तो इस तरह से आप लेवल जीरो डीएफटी बना सकते हैं द नेक्स्ट इज द एक्सरसाइज और ये हम लोग करेंगे जो आपकी नेक्स्ट लेवल